back to the farmstead. Well, in remodeling our kitchen, I discovered something. I have a whole lot of cookbooks and I don't fix that oven very often. So today I decided we need something sweet for dessert. And I'm gonna make it out of this cookbook. This is The Harvest Table. It's by Gooseberry Patch. It's got a whole bunch of different recipes in it for all kinds of harvesty things. So today we're gonna make autumn pumpkin bars. I don't love to make cookies. I will make cookies, but I don't love to. So if I can make a pie or a cake or bars, even better. So we're going to make autumn pumpkin bars. To start, we're going to put one can of pumpkin. It's just regular old pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling. Uh, you want to always just use the, the plain pumpkin. Okay, so we'll put that in our bowl. We're going to add one cup of applesauce or oil. You can substitute applesauce if you don't have oil. Turns out I didn't have oil today, so we're using applesauce. It keeps it real nice and moist. So we're doing, let's see, one cup. One cup, there we go. All right, mix that together. And to that we're adding, let's see, four eggs. chicken eggs, but they sure are thin-skinned. Usually when you get them from the grocery store, they're a little thicker, thicker, but be pleased we're not having a thick day, I suppose. All right, four eggs. Beat those up a little bit right, a little, right on the edge here so they'll mix in well. Okay, then we're gonna add some vanilla. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now this is vanilla extract that I make um, using an alcohol and vanilla beans. Um, put those together, let them sit for about six months or so and they're ready to use. We're putting in one teaspoon. Oh, it smells so good. All right, that, mix that up. Swap these out. We're going to mix together our brown ingredients. Alright. In a bowl, I already have two cups of sugar and two cups of flour. Kind of going to whisk those together. Make a mess, of course. Then we're going to add, let's see, put on a list so I don't miss anything. One teaspoon of soda. I'm gonna dry this off. I'll dry. One teaspoon of soda. A teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Ginger. And half a teaspoon of cloves. Mm -hmm. 
stir it into our wit. Smells like fall, that's for sure. not going to be a real wet batter. I think we need a bigger spatula. Oh. There we go. I just love that smell. do this with a mixer. I just couldn't feel like getting it out today. All right. Now, since we're cooking a 13 by 9 pan, these are some little full pans that I keep handy. Um, that's what I like to use. And a lot of times I'll make a big something like this and we won't eat the whole thing, but one of the kids will come over or something and I'll say, here, you take the rest. I keep us some, send the rest. That way I don't have to worry about getting my pans back. Alright. Come on, come on, mix. There we go. There we are. Just out of the oven. We ended up cooking for about 40 minutes. This pan is a little bit little smaller than a 9x13, so I think it took a little while. But it passed the old toothpick in the middle test. It's nice and firm and smells delicious. So I hope you'll take the suggestion, not do what I've done and just leave your cookbooks sitting on the shelf, but take them out, thumb through them, and find something that sounds amazing and give it a try. Till next time. Thanks for watching.